out of every 100 T-Rex eggs that hatched only one or two babies lived to become adults. That's a staggering 98% mortality rate that puts even the most dangerous military missions to shame. These weren't deaths from old age or natural causes. Juveniles were systematically hunted down by smaller predators and sometimes eaten alive by their own parents. The numbers reveal a brutal truth. Being born a T-Rex was essentially a death sentence. What kind of world forces 98 out of 100 babies to die before reaching their first birthday? The late Cretaceous was exactly that kind of nightmare for T-Rex hatchlings. Picture a creature barely three feet long trying to survive in an ecosystem dominated by 40 foot adults of its own species. The size difference alone made these juveniles walking targets, but the real horror was just beginning. The greatest threat to young T-Rex wasn't some exotic predator or environmental disaster. It was their own family. Fossil evidence reveals bite marks on juvenile T-Rex bones that perfectly match the tooth patterns of adult T-Rex. These aren't accidental injuries from play fighting or territorial disputes. These are feeding marks. Adult T-Rex actively hunted and consumed their own offspring, especially during periods when other food sources became scarce. Talk about a bad place to live when your own parents might decide you look like dinner. Smaller predators like Dromaeosaurus recognized this vulnerability and systematically targeted juvenile T-Rex as preferred prey. These pack hunters were perfectly sized to take down young tyrannosaurs, and they did so with ruthless efficiency. The juveniles had none of the bone crushing bite force or intimidating size that made adults nearly invincible. Instead, they possessed all the appetites of their massive relatives packed into bodies that couldn't back up their ambitions. Even siblings posed mortal threats to each other. Scientists discovered a juvenile T-Rex skull with healed puncture wounds inflicted by another juvenile. This direct evidence shows that competition began immediately after hatching with young tyrannosaurs fighting over territory food and social position within whatever family structure existed. The wounds had time to heal, meaning some juveniles survived these encounters, but many others clearly didn't. The delayed growth spurt made survival even more precarious. T-Rex didn't begin their dramatic size increase until around age 14, gaining roughly two 900 pounds per year for about four years. This waiting period was both necessary and deadly. Their bodies needed time to develop the skeletal framework capable of supporting massive adult weight. But every year of remaining small meant another year of extreme vulnerability to predators and cannibalistic relatives. The maturation rates depended entirely on resource abundance, making survival a constant gamble against environmental conditions. Years with plentiful prey allowed faster development, while lean periods extended the dangerous juvenile phase even longer. This extreme mortality rate wasn't a design flaw, but an evolutionary advantage. Only the strongest, smartest, and most adaptable hatchlings survived to reproduce, ensuring each generation became progressively more capable. Those rare survivors who reached adolescence had proven their worth through years of constant danger, but their trials were far from over as they entered an entirely different realm of prehistoric violence. Imagine being so confident in your hunting skills that you attack a living tank and losing. T-Rex may have ruled through intimidation, but their prey didn't just roll over and accept death. Triceratops and Ankylosaurus were built like um, fortress creatures equipped with defensive weapons that could cripple or kill even the most powerful predator. These weren't helpless victims waiting to be devoured. They were armored opponents capable of turning any hunt into a life or death. The fossil record tells a disturbing story of T-Rex specimens bearing catastrophic injuries from failed hunting attempts. Broken ribs, fractured jaws, and punctured skulls appear repeatedly in adult T-Rex fossils, providing direct evidence that their prey fought back with devastating effectiveness. These weren't minor scrapes from successful hunts. These were career-ending injuries that left permanent damage on the bodies of supposedly invincible predators. Triceratops horns presented the most lethal threat to attacking tyrannosaurs. These three foot long bone spears were positioned at perfect angles to penetrate T-Rex skull bone during frontal attacks. The biomechanics reveal that a charging Triceratops could generate enough force to drive its brow horns completely through a T-Rex's temporal fenestra 
the weakest point in their massive skull. Evidence supports this deadly capability through partially healed Tyrannosaur tooth marks found on a Triceratops brow horn that was also broken with new bone growth after the break, suggesting the Triceratops survived the encounter and possibly overcame the Tyrannosaurus. Ankylosaurus tail clubs operated like medieval war hammers, capable of shattering T-Rex leg bones with a single strike. These bony clubs weighed up to 220 pounds and swung with tremendous momentum. A direct hit to a Tyrannosaur's shin or ankle could instantly end the predator's mobility, making life no walk in the park for these massive hunters. Without the ability to chase prey or escape danger, a crippled T-Rex faced certain starvation. Research on Edmontosaurus ectans reveals another troubling reality for T-Rex hunters. Healed Tyrannosaur-inflicted damage on Edmontosaurus tail vertebrae proves that many prey animals successfully escaped T-Rex attacks, leaving the predators wounded and empty-handed. These survival stories demonstrate that even supposedly weaker herbivores could outmaneuver their attackers when circumstances aligned properly. Every hunt represented a high-risk gamble, where failure meant more than just hunger. Infected wounds from prey, defensive injuries, likely caused many T-Rex deaths as their massive bodies struggled to heal from penetrating trauma. A successful predator needed perfect health to maintain hunting effectiveness, but every encounter with armored prey threatened to end that capability permanently. Those tyrannosaurs who survived these dangerous hunts discovered that their greatest battles weren't with heavily defended herbivores, but with equally dangerous members of their own species. What happens when two nine-ton killing machines decide the same territory isn't big enough for both of them? The answer lies scattered across museum collections worldwide in the form of brutally scarred T-Rex skulls that tell stories of violence between members of their own species. Intraspecies conflict represented one of the most dangerous aspects of T-Rex existence, where encounters with fellow tyrannosaurs could prove just as deadly as any hunt. Fossil evidence reveals the shocking reality of these territorial battles through bite marks found on T-Rex skulls that perfectly match the tooth patterns of other T-Rex individuals. These weren't accidental injuries from feeding accidents or minor disagreements. The positioning and depth of these marks indicate deliberate sustained attacks between both tyrannosaurs engaged in serious combat. Some skulls display multiple bite marks from different encounters, suggesting that surviving one battle only guaranteed future conflicts. The biomechanics behind these encounters paint a terrifying picture of prehistoric warfare. T-Rex possessed a bite force capable of delivering up to 12 000 pounds of pressure per square inch, enough force to crush modern car frames into scrap metal. When that devastating power was turned against another Tyrannosaur, the results were catastrophic. Their serrated teeth designed to slice through bone and muscle could inflict wounds that would challenge even their robust healing capabilities. Prime hunting grounds and mating rights triggered the most violent confrontations between these apex predators. Territory with abundant prey represented survival itself worth fighting to the death to secure and defend. The competition for reproductive opportunities added another layer of deadly conflict as successful mating required dominance over vast areas and multiple potential partners. These weren't brief skirmishes, but extended campaigns of violence that could last for years. Stress fractures and healed wounds found throughout T-Rex. Skeletal remains provide evidence of repeated conflicts throughout their adult lives. The presence of these healed injuries indicates that some individuals survived multiple encounters, but the accumulating damage took its toll on their overall health and hunting effectiveness. Each battle left permanent reminders of the constant struggle for dominance in their prehistoric world. The massive size that made T, Rex so formidable, also made every injury potentially fatal. A broken jaw could prevent effective hunting leading to starvation. Damaged legs could eliminate mobility, leaving even the most powerful predator helpless against future threats. The combination of their aggressive territorial behavior and the high stakes of every encounter kept T-Rex population density dangerously low across their entire range. This perpetual state of warfare created a paradox where their greatest strength became a fundamental weakness. The very traits that made T-Rex successful predators also ensured they would always be their own worst enemies, setting the stage 
for even more unexpected vulnerabilities. At nine tons, T-Rex was powerful enough to crush almost anything except its own body weight. The very size that made these predators so formidable also created a biomechanical hanker nightmare that plagued every adult throughout their short lives. Their greatest advantage became their fatal weakness, turning their own bodies into prisons that limited mobility and made even minor injuries potentially deadly. The paradox of T-Rex size reveals itself through the immense stress placed on their skeletal structure. Supporting nearly 20, 000, 000 pounds on just two legs created constant pressure that their bones struggled to handle. During their exponential growth phase, T-Rex gained an average of three 940 pounds per year, forcing their skeletal system to adapt rapidly to ever increasing loads. This rapid weight gain left their bones vulnerable to stress fractures and joint deterioration that accumulated over time their forelimbs measuring only three. Three feet long provided little assistance with balance or mobility despite their surprising strength. The shoulder and elbow joints allowed only 40 and 45 degrees of motion, respectively severely restricting their range of movement. This limited mobility made recovering from falls or sudden movements extremely difficult, turning everyday activities into potential disasters for creatures weighing as much as modern trucks. Fossil evidence paints a disturbing picture of the chronic health issues that plagued adult T-Rex throughout their lives. Bone infections, stress fractures, and joint deterioration appear regularly in adult specimens, revealing the constant physical toll of supporting such massive bodies. One exceptionally large adult specimen exhibited a broken and healed fibula and tail vertebrae, along with scarred facial bones and a tooth from another Tyrannosaurus embedded in a neck vertebra, demonstrating the accumulating damage these giants endured. Parasitic infections added another layer of suffering to their existence. Smooth-edged holes found in T-Rex skulls suggest infection by trichomonas-like parasites similar to those that commonly infect modern birds. These infections made feeding increasingly difficult and seriously infected individuals, including the famous Sioux specimen, might have died from starvation when eating became too painful or impossible. The combination of these factors created a deadly timeline for adult T-Rex. Over half of all known specimens died within six years of reaching sexual maturity, a pattern that reveals the unsustainable nature of their massive size. Their bodies simply couldn't maintain the structural integrity needed to support their weight while simultaneously fighting off infections, healing injuries and competing for resources. Even their legendary speed suffered under the burden of their size. Mathematical models suggest that moderately fast speeds would have required impossibly large leg muscles, meaning T-Rex likely moved slower than commonly portrayed. A single leg injury could eliminate their hunting ability, entirely leading to inevitable starvation. But even these accumulated physical vulnerabilities couldn't prepare them for the cosmic catastrophe that would ultimately seal their fate. The ultimate irony reveals itself in stunning clarity. The most powerful land predator in history wasn't defeated by another apex predator or evolutionary competitor. A mountain-sized asteroid struck Earth 66 million years ago, triggering the Chicxulub impact that claimed three quarters of all life on the planet. No amount of bone-crushing bite force or territorial dominance could protect T-Rex from this cosmic catastrophe. Modern apex predators face strikingly similar vulnerabilities through habitat loss disease and environmental change. Lions and wolves struggle with the same fundamental truth that doomed T-Rex. Survival has always depended on adaptability, not raw strength alone. 